Welcome to the wood shop stop. Right here you see me fabricating a spacer for the window. That's right, I decided to put the uh, Chinese diesel heater exhaust out the window rather than drilling a hole in the side of my garage. That still may happen if I'm not happy with the way this is set up. But for now, we're just going to pipe the exhaust out the window, which means I has to have to raise the unit up higher. I got it right here in this spot where my drill press was. And uh, as you can see, you can probably hear it running. I put it on this little table here. It's, it's all metal, so I'm glad about that. Here's the uh, 12 volt power supply. I don't know if this will be permanent, but it's going to serve its purpose for right now. There's the exhaust pipe going out of the uh, room, the building. And you can see... Right now you can see that I've been running it for 24 minutes. Right there, that's the clock. It, Every time you start it up, it starts a timer. So you'll know the length of time that you've been running it. And uh, it's pretty much uh, up to full temperature. You can hear the uh, dose pump running. And uh, let's see, for 24 minutes, right now it's probably about 65 degrees outside. So, we're up to 25 degrees Celsius, which is probably in the 72 or 3 degree range inside, because that is the inside uh, ambient temperature that uh, is pulled in from the uh, back vent. And I've got it running at uh, 3.0 hertz. Which means you get three pulses from the uh, dose pump every second. Which doesn't seem to make much sense. It doesn't seem like it's running that fast. But there you have it. Let's see, what, is there anything else to show you on that? Okay. Uh, you can see that uh, the voltage on this is 12.4 volts that I'm pulling right now. And the battery shows that uh, we're hooked up to power. Um, that's about it. There's the uh, mountain setting. No errors. Okay, 26 minutes been running now. And the air is nice and warm. That pipe under there is very hot. You can see how I decided to uh, plumb this outside. And uh, I've got the uh, foil insulation along with uh, actual foil duct tape. And uh, I've got some standard duct tape in there as well. You can't see that it's underneath. I decided to bring the, uh, the inlet pipe out in front. See, I got the exhaust going that way and the inlet pump is facing this direction. The only concern that I have is uh, possibly uh, dust, too much dust in the air. Here's another view of the exhaust pipe going outside. I'll take you outside and show you how what I did for outside. There's the back of the garage right there in the window. You can see where I've got a dryer elbow, dryer duct elbow, or a heating duct elbow, three inch diameter coming out. And you can hear, you can 
hear the uh, exhaust. I'm not getting hardly any smell right now, but that's how I decided to do it. This is hot. It is hot. Yep. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. But that's how I decided to do the outside. Back here in the back, it's it's warm. It's well, it's fairly warm, touchable, but it's hot. It's been running for 31 minutes now, and uh, it's just clicking right along, putting out nice heat, and uh, didn't sound that bad. Um, see on the temperature thermostat there we're looking at about 75 degrees 73 degrees somewhere in there and it's about 72 ish but yeah that uh, that's it that's gonna do it